Hey guys, Joel here. Welcome to the channel. Today, I wanted to show you how to use OBS with NVIDIA and VNC. There's an alternative way to record with OBS and a great way to record if you don't have a good CPU or if you don't want to put heaps of strain on your CPU while you're recording your games. To use NVIDIA and VNC, you must have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you don't have one, I can't help you and you might need to look for another video. So firstly, we want to go straight into settings. In general, you can just make a name for your setting profile and then click add. Now in encoding, you want to have NVIDIA and VNC selected. If, you, if this is faded out like QuickSync is here, then there's something wrong or you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card and this video isn't going to help much. Now I have CBR and CBR padding so, uh, ticked, which I don't, I don't think it makes too much difference. I'm pretty sure that is mainly streaming. But your max bitrate, this is the most important setting here. I have mine on 25,000. Now 25,000 I find is the really perfect sweet spot between quality and file size for 1080p recording. You can have it down to 20,000 or up to 30,000 if you want to. If you want a better quality video, go to 30,000, but then the file size is a lot bigger. I used to have mine on 30,000, but I couldn't really tell much difference. And once YouTube renders it, you don't notice a difference at all. And it just wasn't worth it. The file sizes were too big. And so now, I go on 25,000, you don't notice any difference and it's just perfect. In audio recording, uh, audio encoding, change the bitrate between 112 and 192. I normally have mine on 192, purely because it's just a good, a good number for me. I don't notice too much difference in the audio encoding, but the file sizes are definitely different between 112 and 192. So if you're worried about file sizes, drop down the settings a little bit and you'll be fine. Click apply and then go to next. In broadcast settings, you wanna click here and go to file output only and then choose where you want your recordings to go to. Most people have their recordings just go to their desktop, but I have a dedicated hard drive that I record, put all my recordings towards. Then just click apply and then go to video. Now here in video, you'll have your graphics card. Mine's a GTX 970, and your graphics card should be here. Uh, this should be your monitor size, and then down here is your resolution downscaling. You don't need to touch this one unless you want to do 720p, but we're not doing that. That's this, for the sake of this video, we're doing 1080p, so we'll leave it that. 60 FPS. So we'll leave that, change that to 60 FPS obviously. Click apply and then go to audio. Now here in audio, I have these two set to default. I normally leave this to default, but if you have a different recording or a different way to, uh, to listen to your games, change that to it. So I normally have my games on Mixamp headphones, Astro Mixamp Pro game. And then my mic is the Snowball. These settings here, you don't need to change. If you find that your mic is a little too quiet, you can bump this up to two or even higher if you want to, but it's not necessary. Hotkeys is all personal preference, so you shouldn't have to do too much there. I don't use them because I find that I always push the buttons in game and it is just so frustrating when you're midway through a recording and you just stop it. It has happened to me way too many times, so I just don't use hotkeys. Now here in advanced settings is where a lot of people go wrong. I don't change, oh I change minimal settings in the advanced settings. I actually click default and then here in Nvidia preset, you can leave it on automatic, but I like to have mine at high quality. The noise gate, I do have a noise gate on when I'm streaming. You may need to play around with this a little bit depending on what mic you've got. But that is pretty much it for all the settings. OBS is really simple as long as you don't play around with too many of the settings. If you are having trouble while recording with the NVNC, you might need to try and change a few settings. Now if you find that you're losing, F, uh, losing frames and stuff in, while you're playing, then you might need to drop down some of your settings in game. 
If that doesn't help, then you might need to change this down to 20,000. And then click apply. If that doesn't work, then you can go down to vi uh, video here and change this to 30 FPS. And if that doesn't help again, you can go to advanced settings and drop your NVNC preset down to high performance and apply. If this still doesn't work, then it might just be that your graphics card can't handle uh, 1080p at 60 FPS and you might even need to downscale to 720p which is good for YouTube. So hopefully this video helped guys. I've been meaning to put tutorials up for a while so if you did find this one helped or you really enjoyed this video, tell me in the comments below. If you're still having troubles, write it down in the comments below or message me on Twitter. I'll try and respond as quickly as I can and be as much help as I can. Thank you everyone and until next time, I'll see you later.